Mickey, your draw with the tournament leader, David Anton, how did the game go for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was okay. It was a fairly balanced game the whole way through. Um, yeah, I tried to get some kind of position with some chances, and uh, at least we got a reasonable structure and pieces on the board for a long time. But of course, White is, uh, is very solid. So uh, uh, at some moment, I thought I had some hopes, but then this knight on c5 is so strong that... Uh, no, at the end there was no uh, no chances. Right, the QGD A6, he was quite surprised with this choice. Were you happy with the way your preparation turned out? Were you satisfied with it? Yeah, I think it was okay. I mean, lots of lines I thought probably, uh, you know, he has the option to go for something uh, very forcing. And uh, okay, I wasn't sure exactly what his plans would be. But uh, no, I thought this line normally, I thought we could well get a structure like in the game. Um, and you know, okay, at least it's some kind of uh, some kind of game. But uh, you know, of course, he has to uh, make some mistakes for me to win, and it didn't really happen. Right now, from a game point of view, of course, the draw seems to be a fair result. You got a good position out of the opening, but to fight for the top spot, you needed a win today. Uh, how are you feeling about the fact that you're probably not going to be in the tie breaks, or are you satisfied with it? Well, I think I'm definitely not going to be in the tie breaks. Uh, no, I mean, okay, it is uh, it is what it is, you know, it's always a difficult decision. I had the same situation, oh man, I was black in the last round and I need to win to have any chance to win the tournament. And actually there, I, w I don't know, for some reason I was in a very good mood and I thought, okay, I really go for it and then I lost the game, uh, although I actually had quite a good position against Caruana. So I think today I was kind of uh, reluctant to, uh, you know, go completely, go, uh, completely crazy. I just wanted to play normally and if something showed up then uh, so be it, but it didn't really uh, happen. Right, now that's actually a problem a lot of chess players face in a situation like this which is almost a must-win situation for at least trying to fight for the top spot. You sometimes lose objectivity of the game. So that was something you wanted to be cautious about today? Well, kind of, you know, I mean it's just difficult if you're black in the last round. It's, it's a difficult situation. You can't, uh, you know, with white you have a lot more options. With black it's... Uh, your options are a bit limited, particularly with my repertoire. I'm not sh super sharp guy, so you know it's just uh, you know sometimes a game to draw. I'm, I'm not too uh, I'm not too unhappy. Overall, it's a good result. Right, and one of the top finishes in any case. So satisfied with your tournament overall? Yeah, I mean overall I gained some rating. I won quite a few games, so uh, yeah, I, I'm very happy. I mean, to get uh, seven and a half is a really good score. I think. Uh, you know, I think seven, I hope to get seven, and more than that is, is clearly very good. Always a pleasure to watch you in action, McKee. We wish you all the best for the rest of the year in your next tournament. Thank you.